when I first saw the images on, on the t television set, I was like, wow. I was like, this is, I didn't think it was the United States, first of all. I, I thought it was in other countries' buildings, but I saw the skyline of New York, and I'm like, wow, um, that's New York. I come home, and you know, my parents are you know, upset, and my neighbors are crying, and you know, everybody's, wait everybody's like literally running to the bus stop to get their kids, and all these people that are just like day-to-day -day people are all coming together because of this one event, and it's like we all broke down at the same time. The first thing I remember thinking was, when I was a child, I went to school in the city, of course, in Manhattan, and we would always take field trips to the World Trade Center. And I remember looking at my watch to see what time it was because I was thinking, like, if any of the elementary school kids had made it on their field trip yet. And that's just how much, how much chaos was going on over there. Just, you could hear the sirens across the bay. You could, you could smell, you could, you can see the smoke and all of the, the debris and the ashes as the buildings were falling down. You could see it all go up. Seaman Michael Camden, I'm 19 years old from Midlothian, Virginia. I work with Deck Department on the USS Nimitz, and I've been in the Navy since September of 2010. I'm uh, Freddie Avila, LS1, work with HSD, and uh, I've been in the Navy for 18 years. I'm AV3 Louisa Griggs Warren. I'm from New York City. I'm 26 years old, and I've been in the Navy for four years. I'm MM3 Jonathan Barker. I am a nuclear machinist mate. Uh, I work in the reactor department on the USS Nimitz. I was in middle school in sixth grade, and we actually lived right across the way from the World Trade Centers. So we had like a full panoramic view of everything that happened. But like I kept going through my mind, at least they're still standing. At least the people in there, if there's anybody in there, is safe. At least it's still standing. And then, then when the second one fell down, I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> It was like finding out that Santa Claus isn't real, you know. It's like, I don't know. There goes all my ideas. Right? But when that happened, it was like a sense of everybody becoming humble over the entire city. You know, people band together, they stopped mass transportation. So you had to walk distances that we hadn't, and everybody's kind of like binding together. But after the shock, there was a lot of anger. First it was, how could you, you know? And then it was more like, this is not happening again. And that's when I decided that I was going to join the military. I figured people went in dire need. People, the humans will come together. And um, that's definitely what happened. I was, I, you know, I was proud to see American flags everywhere because those bad boys popped up everywhere after that. Um, that was great to see and I was glad, being that I wasn't there, that I heard the other U.S. Navy ships were helping out. Um, a lot of sailors, and not just that, the first responders are out there, everybody teamed up to help out. People are not working, people are not used to that type of job or situation. Out there helping out, everybody. A hero is someone who steps to the plate in a time of adversity or a time where they know that if they get involved with a specific situation that harm can come to them but they still do what's right and not allow fear to paralyze them. I mean I, I, I feel like the honor, courage, commitment every time I put on this uniform. I feel, that I feel better putting on this uniform actually because I feel like I'm actually doing something being a part of something bigger. The kids of future generations, I hope, can you know, grow up in a world where 
they know they have their parents and their older siblings and their military members and their teachers, not just military members, but you know, their teachers and their guidance counselors and those others to look up to. There's everyday heroes. There's not just us in uniform. But for those kids, I want them to see that, hey, this happened, but everybody came back. You know, we weren't stopped by this.